Still on the Fatou Nyibo rape allegation, we're being joined live in the studio by a legal practitioner, Obi Ajebo. It's good to have you join us, Obi. Nice to be here once again. From a legal perspective, a lot of people, this news has met with a lot of resistance, just like we listened to Shegun, uh, Shegalink uh, complaining about the fact that this might just be encouraging the rape culture. But how easy is it to prove a, a rape case anywhere in the world, especially 20 years after? You, um, in this case, you have to have a pattern. If there's a pattern, if about two or three women come out and said, this is what happened to us, and they can put it down an affidavit and video it and say this and stand by it, then you have a pattern. But now there's, there's no corroboration for her. And um, I, I wonder how this thing, they can get the justice. But there have been so many other women who've come out. Some even said they have tapes and audios, you know, to back up their allegation. Mm. In the hit of the, when this story broke, we heard all kinds of things. So is that supposed to be what they need to build another case? I mean, if there be any other case to be built. You see, when you're going up against such a man, you have to do your homework. Mm -hmm. it is not, it's not good enough for you to go on TV and start airing because you're, you're, you're releasing evidence. You have to sit down, calculate, and get a lawyer, itemize things, and build up a case. Where you have an ironclad case, you go to the police. Don't sensationalize it on TV because you're losing evidence. And then from there, you take it. So you're telling me that the first mistake that Busola made was go on TV to yes. talk about yes. this. But if there had been anything else to do other than TV, what could he have been to really prove that she was raped? You get, you have, you see, I tell, keep telling people, use a lawyer, use a lawyer. If she had consulted a lawyer before she had that interview, I know the lawyer would have restrained her from having that interview because she's put herself out on the court of, of people's court. And that's not where she will get justice. Where she wants justice is the court and the police. So if she had articulated everything she had and handed it over to a police and followed it up with the necessary pressure and encouraged the police to investigate it, then you know it's the start. Maybe when she has submitted it and the police are refusing to do anything, that's when she would have gone for the interview. Interesting. Mm. I want us to do a little spinning of the table right yeah. now. If the roles were reversed, and Busola was the very famous and the rich. She's the polyphemous. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, in terms of how high and mighty mm -hmm. the Fatih Onyibo preacher is, if the roles were reversed and Fatih Onyibo was just a mere Busola, mm -hmm. and, and Busola was Fatih Onyibo, and she made these claims, could the case have been different? You see, we, we look at people as thin gods. There's nobody a good lawyer cannot get. The most is when the heat is on, they come and say, let us negotiate. Okay, we did this, we're sorry, what will it take? But people keep saying corruption, corruption. You haven't done your homework. Do your homework and then let, let the spinning go, go on after that. They have to do their homework. They haven't done their homework. While, while they were talking, I called one or two of them and said, why don't you people go back to the drawing board and strategize? You see, people talk too much, and they talk away their, their, their weapons. Finally, quickly, Shagun mm. Arosaya made a very interesting point. If we keep allowing things like this to happen, we are encouraging the rape culture. How does the judiciary help in somewhat reducing the amount of rape cases that are being reported in Nigeria? In 2018 alone, it was hitting the roof. And this one is so big because of the two people who are involved. They're well-known people. What about the simple girl in some area who's being raped by her father or a family member or even her landlord? I was telling somebody today that if you have a rape case and you, there's a special unit set up, I can only talk about Lagos State because that's where I live and work. There's a special unit set up by Lagos State 
once the case enters their hand, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's forever going. There's no one of, uh, please, we've changed their mind, let's redraw, no. And Lagos State is hell-bent on doing things to rape, um, the domestic violence, sexual, uh, minor, all these things that they're doing to minors, they are hell-bent on it and it's working. You get, you get really good sentence, sentences when the cases, because they have a team that we articulate everything and everything is working. So in Lagos State, I can say rape, rape cases are being well handled off. and when people realize that if they do this, they spend about 20, 30 years in jail, they will start thinking.